Mapakpakin limang ang masering nga yes! It's back to school for the children of Palos Central Elementary. Their first day back since Typhoon Haiyan blasted through this neighborhood. Alexa is eight years old and relieved to see all her friends again. I'm happy because my, my classmate survived. Alexa's recently remodeled school was destroyed and has been replaced with a tent for now. School principal Evelyn Olaya is still coming to grips with the loss. Everything here, newly painted from the walls, inside the classroom, to the roofs. They are newly painted, newly painted and structured. So sad to say that now I, 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 feel, I feel bad about my school. 90% of school buildings were damaged in areas affected by the typhoon, compromising over 3,000 schools. Every time I meet kids, they will tell me, um, what will happen to us, um, what will happen to our studies? We don't no longer have notebooks, we don't have bags. Our books are already uh, destroyed. We tried to dry them up, but it's, it can no longer be used. Getting children back to school is a priority for the Philippines Department of Education. UNICEF and its partners are assisting their efforts by providing tents, teaching materials, and sanitation facilities for schools. We wanted to send the message that even if schools are devastated, education can actually continue. And I think that single message, we conveyed it very well today. Our main goal at the moment is how do we transform this negative experience to positive learning so that this learning can be used by children and they will end up better, stronger, and resilient persons.